What's going on, Tesla family, Tesla community? Guess who's back? So today, I am here at Yorkdale. And I wanna do some smart summon testing. My car is over there. You can see the white van, my Model 3. So let's do some smart summon testing. See, will it come to me? Wait, you've seen this one before? It's too easy? If I, if I look in the phone, it's gonna show me the map, no problem. And it's gonna come to me, no problem. Hmm. All right, all right, I'm up for the challenge. Let's go, come with me. Let's make this a little bit harder. This, this is too easy, you're right, you're right. It could easily come from there to me over here. How about this? Is this a little bit more challenging? Today, I am going to be doing a little experiment. You notice where I am? Oh, look at all those Teslas. I am in an underground parking lot. What I want to do is do a test of the smart summon in the underground. So if you look here, you can see where I am parked and that's where the doors are. Again, I know you probably wouldn't be using it under here because it's not like the weather is bad or anything. But my thing is that, say you don't know where your car is, then you can pretty much call the car to you. Or if you have a lot of um, bags, you've been doing some shopping. The thing is, when you're underground parking, the GPS does not show that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, let, let's look here to see what the GPS actually shows. So as far as the GPS navigation is concerned, I am outside. And if we look at the summon, you will notice it's the exact same thing. I won't be able to do a point to target because honestly, I feel the car is here and I should be pointing it here. We don't really know if that's it. So I'm going to experiment with the come to me. So I'm going to put myself over there and pull the car to me and see how it works in the underground. If it's going to actually come there or is it gonna have issues trying to navigate through? I parked in between these two cars so with, as far as the sensors and everything go, that should not be the problem. So let's give it a go. Maybe this fails, maybe it works, who knows? Only one way to find out, and that's by experimenting. And by me experimenting and um, on my car, you guys and gals then know if it'll work or not, and then if you wanna try it yourself. So let's go. So I am walking over there now. Here is the experiment. Let's pretend the scenario that I'm coming through the doors and I have my uh, groceries with me or I've been shopping and I got lots of bags. I wanna now summon the car to me. So now I am going to use the come to me mode. Here we go. Preparing to summon. Summon is starting. It is coming out. Again, I'm using the come to me button, so as it's pulling forward towards me, and you can see that it is still working, even though in the underground. I'm waiting for the path to clear. Pedestrians walking. Waiting for pedestrians. Now it says summon is complete, so I thought that I was basically at that point. So it's strange, because again, that I'm underground, the GPS signal is not uh, working so good. I am uh, moving on the screen here. So there you go, the scenario of the sinus from a underground. All right, this is test part two. Again, I'm gonna use the come to me and I'm going to go further away. So where the car is showing, and you can see on my screen on where it thinks I am are completely different. Now it's kind of showing a lot better of where I feel I should be but why the car wants to go to the right, I don't know. So I'm actually just, if you look at the screen, uh, let me put the target. This is kind of where I am, where the target is, but you see the dot of myself is moving everywhere. So I'm actually gonna do the target this time and see what happens. Again, I got my bags, slowing down for intersection. I guess it assumes it's up top where there's the intersection. Very, very interesting because above us is the actual mall. So if you really think about it, it's driving through the mall. 
It's going all squirrely there, left, right, left, right. It's almost at the target. Why it wants to back up, I don't know. Oh, I assume because of where I actually put that target. Waiting for pedestrian, which is me. <laughs> Let me get out of the way. Summon completed. So in, uh, in an underground, it actually can work if you... All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit more trickier this time. I'm going to go over there to the corner so the car has to actually go to the right and go to the left and straight along there. This is a little bit more active lane because the exit is right here. So again, I wanna put it through the paces. Um, the only problem is well, I'm gonna to link to that screen record also here. It's very tricky to realize where the car is going. So if I put the phone upside down, I can then kind of say the car should be going this way. All right, let's go to the screen record. All right, so in here, I'm not gonna do the come to me because it's very different. So I'm actually gonna do the target and I should assume that it's gonna be the way you see where the target is here, looking at the screen record. And you can see there's a lot more traffic here, but we got to experiment, right? I'm right here. I can run to the car. It's not a big deal. Can I come down this lane? Yes, yes, I can. Now I'm just kind of talking to myself. All right, here we go. Connecting to the vehicle. So I have the target here. It's putting on the signal. Coming through, it's making the turn in. Here comes a car. Go ahead, go around. Love how it goes around the cars. So there you go. I stopped it because it was just gonna keep going past me. I put the target a little bit further. But you see, in the underground, Smart Summon still works. You just have to be weary of where you're pointing that target. Don't use the come to me, which I thought would have been a better choice to use the come to me. But again, your phone signal, everything can kind of block it. All right, so there you go. Super quick video just to show again the smart summon use of it in the underground parking lot. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you're gonna use it, you just, uh, again, do not use the come to me button. And you have to think very hard on how you actually place that target. Because again, remember, you are seeing the uh, above ground. I'm uh, underground of the mall. So when you're looking at the mapping, you're seeing the top of the mall. So you cannot use any of that. You gotta use your brain and how you're judging on how the car is gonna come to you. It can be done. Again, you just have to think hard about how you are pulling the vehicle to you or summoning the car to you. This is the backseat baller saying thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I know a lot of people don't like when other, uh, when YouTubers ask for that, but you know what? Some people that are watching it just probably don't even think about it. So if we don't remind you, and you might not hit that subscribe button. That's about it. Anyways, I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Backseat Baller, out of here.